Hello, this is Allie with the Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today I have some very uncomfortable news for you, right? So this is my video on why if you want to be on an ex uh, a growth and expansion path, you're going to have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay, so now, it's funny because the truth is, it doesn't matter what you're doing in your life. It literally does not matter if you want to be on an expansion path or if you don't want to be on an expansion path, if you want to grow, if you don't want to grow, if you think you're being enlightened, if, you, if you're just a total mainstream, whatever, everybody is going to be made uncomfortable in this life because it is that discomfort that we feel, right? Our emotional guidance system kicking something up in our face that makes us change, okay? That makes us grow. And we are here on this planet to have an evolutionary experience, okay? And the reason that I feel like I can say that with such confidence, okay, is because this is what nature is modeling to us, right? Nature is on an evolutionary cycle all the time, right? It is constantly evolving, it is constantly changing, it's constantly shifting, it's, it's forever reaching for the new thing. Right? It's forever reaching for, the, for a different new variety of experience. Um, if we look at, right, like, like just for one example, if we look at uh, trees, right, there are so many different varieties of trees. And, and within those different varieties of trees, there is no tree that is the same as another tree, right? So it is, it, it's this evolution and this expansion and this variation experience that is occurring in nature that is modeling back to us the experience that we're having and then again we if we look at people right there are no carbon copies there is no single person that has is having the exact same experience as any other person even if you're an identical twin and you have the exact same genetic makeup as someone else you are still having a, a different perspective than your twin right you are still having a different experience. Even if you have the same parents, you have the same upbringing, you have, your way of perceiving the world is completely unique to you. And, and this is part of what we need to understand if we want to learn how to stop suffering so much in our lives, right? Is that life thrives on variation. And this whole experience that we're having seems to be, if we observe it, right? based on variation and based on evolution and based on expansion, right? A new experience, a different experience, a different perspective, a different vantage point. No one is having the same experience. No two trees are alike. Everything is unique because that's what causes expansion. Every time we have a unique experience, we learn something new. So that's the kind of fundamental bottom line kind of information about it, right? Is that every time we have a unique experience, we learn something. And nature seems to be very, very, very much about variation and therefore very, very, very much about learning something new, right? Because that is the ultimate um, reflection, that's the ultimate uh, result of variation, is new information, new knowledge, we learn something. So if that is the case, right? And we are here to have new and different and expanded experiences. When we look at the world and we look and we see that most people are living in a state of fear. And you are probably living in a state of fear in some way, right? Meaning we are believing that the experience we are having means something about our ultimate oneness and our ultimate connection to love, right? When we are in that place, we crave to be the same, right? We want everything to be predictable. We want everything to go the way that it's supposed to go. We want it to be familiar. We want to understand it. We want to, we want to already know, right? And so if the ultimate kind of purpose of life and the thing that life is always going to be doing, whether you're in resistance to it or going with it, right, is drawing you to a new experience, changing your reality, making things different than how you thought they were, showing you a different thing, showing you a different thing, showing you a different thing. And all you want is stability, sustainability, to get there and then be done. You're gonna suffer, 
right? You're gonna be uncomfortable because life is always going to be giving you something that's there to expand your percep perception, that's there to expand your experience, that's there to be different than what you were doing before. And like, if we look at this, right? This is like the idea of retirement. And th I think, okay, and I'm gonna just put this out there, I believe a lot of people who want to be enlightened, okay, who want to reach this ultimate spiritual place are actually spiritually bypassing their fear and resistance to change because we're looking for that stability. We're looking for that place where we've got it, where we've arrived, we've landed, we've got it all figured out, life is not going to throw us any more curveballs. And, and so we can be safe and comfortable, right? The person that's going after retirement and most people that are going after enlightenment, we look at that and are like, ugh, right? Retirement, that's so stupid to just think that you're gonna like work for 40 years and then you're gonna have your retirement and then you're gonna just enjoy yourself because life is gonna stop happening to you. That sounds ridiculous, right? We can, most of us can say, of course not, right? A lot of people get to their retirement and then end up going back to work because they never learned about themselves and they're still uncomfortable, right? Like they thought that it was working all of these years and just trying to do all the make ends meet. And if I could just get to retirement, I'll be happy because all this life stuff will stop happening. And then they get there and all that life stuff stops happening and they're still uncomfortable because life still keeps happening in a new different way. You're still supposed to be learning, growing and expanding. You're still going to be internally and externally motivated to grow and have a different experience and have it right so that your awareness of reality can expand your awareness of yourself can expand you can understand things more better that's the point okay of all this expansion stuff of life constantly ripping the carpet under up from underneath of you that's the point it's to expand your experience, to expand your awareness so that you can have a better understanding of how life works. So we can look at the retirement story and say, well, that's silly. We know that they're gonna still have experiences in retirement and that it's not gonna be all a bed of roses because if you're resisting having experience in your job, you're gonna keep resisting having experience in your retirement. We look at that and think that's silly. But we say, but I'm gonna strive for enlightenment I'm going to strive for this ultimate understanding of the universe and this ultimate understanding of myself because you want the same thing. You want to stop the world turning. You want to stop having unfamiliar, different variety experiences because there's still a belief in you that so long as you're having varietal experiences, you're disconnected, that you, you don't get it yet, that separation is still occurring because you're not totally unified in your consciousness and the understanding of everything. And so we're, we're racing for enlightenment. We're racing for this ultimate peace. We're racing for ultimate self-love. We're racing for ultimate self-expression. We're racing to like fully know who we are so we can be that. So we're all racing for this end point so we can stop being uncomfortable. And what I'm going to say is that that's never going to happen. I'm going to burst your bubble right now. If you think that anyone has gotten to enlightenment and still been in their body and stopped learning, you're wrong, okay? And we know this. We have seen many, many, many people who have claimed to be enlightened, who then, you know, you follow their path 10 years on, they're saying different things 10 years later than they were saying 10 years before. Why did that happen? Because they had more experiences, right? Things kept happening that were different than what happened before. Subtly, grossly, they traveled to a different country, met a different person, that expanded them, that expanded their awareness, that expanded their consciousness. They continued to grow, right? They, every day, even if you eat the exact same meal every single day in the exact same room, it's not the exact same, right? If you eat an apple for lunch every day, it's a different apple every day. That's a different experience, that's variation. It, no matter how much you are trying to micromanage your life to make it the same, to make it controllable, to make it predictable, it's never going to be, right? It's always going to be different. And so this is, what, so when I say get uncomfortable, get comfortable with being uncomfortable, it's kind of a misnomer because in my experience, what I have found is the more I get comfortable with the idea that variation is the thing, I'm never going to get control over my life so that stuff stops happening, right? And, and I've let go of the idea 
that stuff happening, right? That me having experiences means that I'm separated from love, right? The more that I have made that my focus, that even when my plane is delayed, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with me. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with my vibration. It doesn't mean that love went away. It's just an experience that I'm having. All of a sudden, the delayed plane isn't so uncomfortable, right? So this is the paradox. When you start to say, okay, I'm gonna embrace the fact that my life is going to be different all the time. I'm never gonna get it done. I'm never gonna get it figured out. I'm never gonna get it solid. And then that's what I do now for the rest of my life because that's not how this works. I'm gonna be learning, growing, and expanding forever. I'm gonna stop searching for my peace and my happiness to come from safety, predictability, and, and protection. All of a sudden, all of those things that make you so uncomfortable about life, stop being so uncomfortable, right? So it is, we need to understand that it's the thing that is making us so uncomfortable is our resistance, okay, to the changes. It's not the changes themselves. It's not life itself that's making you uncomfortable. It's not the experience itself that's making you uncomfortable. It's not the negative emotion itself that's making you uncomfortable. This is all just information. Every emotion, every thought, every experience, everything that you go through is information. And yes, I understand people are going to be like, what about rape? And what about starving children? And what about all this? You're just saying that that's just a, an experience and we shouldn't be uncomfortable with that and we shouldn't resist it and we shouldn't, shouldn't try and fight against it. And what I'm saying is, okay, no, we shouldn't resist it and we shouldn't try and fight against it because all that does is shut us down from understanding why that experience is occurring, right? Understanding the system behind it because there's always a system behind it. It's never that someone just woke up one day and said, I'm gonna rape someone, okay? That doesn't happen. There's a system. There's a whole familial system, there's a whole line of thinking, there's a whole um, complex uh, array of things that happen to create the environment for that to happen. And for us to just sit there and say, that's wrong and bad, it shouldn't be happening. We're uncomfortable with that, we don't like it, so we're just going to judge it, we're just going to put that person in jail, we're just going to try and get rid of it. How is that working for us? Right? Have we stopped rape? No. We made it illegal. We made it a, a punishable crime. And it still happens because we're just judging it and we're not understanding it and we're not changing fundamentally as, as beings so that we no longer facilitate that experience happening, right? So we keep having to have this experience over and over again in a very, very variety of different ways because we haven't learned yet. As a society, as a culture, as a unit, what needs to happen to facilitate children growing up in a way that they don't need that? Okay, and so, and I know that that's like an oversimplification, but what I'm saying is that it's systems. We're not going to get rid of anything by judging it in our own experience or in anyone else's experience. And so, yes, I understand it's a tough pill to swallow to say we got to accept the variety. We have to accept that everything that's happening should be happening because it's teaching us something. It's growing us. It's expanding us. And so, but when we understand that fully, it doesn't mean that we say now we're just going to be okay with rape forever. What we have to understand is that as we learn to be okay with it happening right now, as in we understand that it's happening right now, we stop judging it as wrong and bad, and we start to learn about it, then we become empowered through understanding to make a different choice in the future. Right now, when we are judging things as wrong and bad, and we're saying our experience shouldn't be happening, we're saying the variation shouldn't be happening, we should just be able to micromanage everything so that everything stays the same, we don't understand the system. And when we don't understand the system, we can't change the system. So no matter how hard you're trying to fight against something that you think is wrong, you're never going to be able to fix it because you don't understand it. And this is the thing that is so the thing that makes us uncomfortable is that we're being offered more information through our experiences. We're being offered the, the opportunity to know something deeper, to understand something deeper, to realize something deeper. And with that, 
With that information, we can then make more empowered choices. When you understand more about the brain, you can do more things with the brain. When you understand more about how gravity works, you can, under, you can do more things with gravity. The less we knew about gravity, the less creative freedom we had, right? So like when we didn't understand how gravity worked, we couldn't fly. Now that we understand how gravity works, we can fly. So if we were judging gravity as being wrong and it's the thing that's making it so that we can't fly, then we're stuck. Nothing happens, right? We're judging gravity is wrong. I want to fly. I can't because of gravity and so fuck gravity. So let's fight against gravity. No. When you understand gravity, then you can use it and make an educated choice to make an airplane. It's the same thing with every other system we see on the planet. So when you are facing something in your life that's making you uncomfortable, it is you, the person that is in fear, that wants to say, I've got everything figured out so that I can just lock this down and not have any other experiences, bumping up against the life, reality, yourself, right? Wanting to understand something deeper. Wanting to have a, a new experience that adds to the body of knowledge that you have that then expands your capacity to make educated choices. So when we resist the uncomfortable things in our lives and we say this emotion shouldn't be happening, this experience shouldn't be happening, this shouldn't be happening in the world, we are cutting ourselves off from information and that's what makes us uncomfortable. So when we start to say, okay, I'm going to open up to the uncomfortable experience, I'm going to open up to the uncomfortable thoughts, I'm going to open up to the uncomfortable emotion, I'm going to say, this isn't happening to fuck with me, this isn't happening to screw me over, I don't need to fight against this. This is happening to educate me, to make me more empowered, more aware, more complex thinker, see the system deeper. Then I can make a better choice. So why would I resist the variation? Why would I resist the constant change? Because the constant change makes me better able to control my experience. Isn't that amazing? Like that's the amazing thing. It's like as you're resisting this discomfort, the less you're going to be able to control because the less you understand and the less empowered choice you're going to be able to make. You don't understand how the system works. You're going to fight it. You're going to run from it and it, you're going to be stuck. You don't have any power there. The more you lean in, the more you experience the thing, the more you stop fighting your experience, the more information you get, the more power you have to choose a different experience. It's amazing. So if you want control, if you want to feel more like you're in control, if you want to feel less like life is happening to you, lean in, get curious, get used to being uncomfortable, get used to being stimulated to grow. And then literally it expands your awareness of how the system works, why you were feeling uncomfortable, all of these things. And then you can make empowered choices that actually lead to new changes. So like, it's crazy. It's really amazing. And I can just tell you this from my own personal experience. Okay. Me living in Vancouver, for instance, I wanted to live in Asia. I wanted to be doing this life that I'm doing now. Right. And the more I resisted what was going on in Canada and, and how everything worked there, the more I was stuck in it. Okay. The more I leaned into the experience, the shitty job that I didn't love, the rat race, all these things. And I just leaned in and leaned in and just got curious and wanted to learn about it. Right? I stopped fighting against the system. I didn't ever fight the system. I stopped fighting the system. I stopped fighting with what was happening. And I just got caught curious. Why is this happening? What's going on here? How does this system work? 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 The more empowered I became because I learned more and I learned more and I learned more. And then all of a sudden I have the option to do what I'm doing in my life now. Not because I fought against the old life that I was living or the systems that exist. I learned about those systems and through my knowledge of those systems have been able to create a life for myself within the systems that exist that I wanted to live because I understand the system more holistically. And so all those uncomfortable experiences were expanding me. So if you want more control, if you really want to stop being uncomfortable, lean into everything that's uncomfortable. Right? Stop fighting stuff. Learn about it. Learn. Get more information. And then make an empowered choice. That's how it's going to work. The, the less you fight with stuff, the more power you're going to have. That's the bottom line. The less you resist, the more power you'll have.
Okay? So, like, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff, join Patreon, like, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you in the next video, okay?